Greetings, gamer girls! I am Celestine, also known as Complex and I welcome back to more or Namco Museum Volume 1. Uh. Today, we are going to take a look at the museum. Well, we all know the PlayStation, I'm pretty sure, was the first 3D game console. If it wasn't, correct me, but... But basically, you... Okay, controls. Use D-pad up to go forward, D-pad down to go back. You can uh, hold B to run, and use uh, use left and right to turn. Uh, you can also press triangle to look up. And I believe you can press start. Yeah, you can press start to play any of the games. I also love that little animated Pac-Man down there. It kind of reminds me of a, uh, of a, uh, the animated player from a uh, Minecraft console edition. But anyways, if you're wondering how you make your save data, you uh, uh <coughs> excuse me, jeez, this is an uh, information lady. A Pac-Man will indicate uh, that there is something you can interact with, so press press X. Welcome to the Namco Museum. There are seven games exhibited in the museum. Register your name. Ears. Don't remove memory card. Right. Name entry. Uh, let's do... Claw. Normally, I, I guess if I were still... If I weren't trans, I probably would do Clo, but and Cal, but whatever. We're doing Cell and Claw now. I respect that some people liked me better before I before I became trans, but you know, I'm just happy you guys still like me. That's that's all I'm, I'm happy with. Now let's head into the museum. Wow, we got Pac-Man Galaga exhibits for everything. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love this. The first five Namco museums are my favorite of the bunch. So, of course, because it's, well, because it's first in them, let's do Pac-Man. I should mention that if you, uh, exit, ex if you exit one of the games when uh, you're in the museum, you'll just appear back in the museum. Basically, there's a lot of things you can interact with. Like this, for example. By the way, I want to mention that real quick. I am doing this completely blind. I never checked uh, any of these. I want you guys to see my blind reaction. Let's see. Only problem is they take time to load, which doesn't make much sense. Pac-Man promo not available. Given away years ago in Japan. Two coasters, of course. Uh, pow uh, power food was called power pellets in English. That's cool. That's it? Okay. Ah, what's this? Notebook out of print, sold years ago at game centers in Japan. So a Pac-Man notebook. Hmm, I wonder, if I can, wonder if I can find these anywhere. Ooh, I'm liking this. <clears throat> Pop card. It has tips and tips printed inside. Oh, so here's the tips section. Uh, why can't we look at it? Maybe I can buy. Uh, what is it with my voice today? Maybe I can buy these somewhere.
Fan Flip, 1980. Uh, for sales promotion. It, what'd that search thing do? Oh, okay. Uh, norm, uh, we can... Or circle to zoom... Oh, apparently that's in a different language. What a circle to zoom in and X to zoom out and start to exit. Oh. This is cool. Puck Man? I guess that's what Pac- I, I guess that's Pac-Man's name- Pac-Man's name in Japan, or maybe that was his beta name, I don't know. Oh, wait, oh. Fan flip. Unfortunately, I never learned Japanese because I refused to learn any foreign language in school because I didn't think it would help me at all through life. Well, I guess in video games it kind of would, but... I can teach it myself, I don't care. But that this is showing the concept of uh, how uh, you eat the power pellet and the ghosts, and you can eat the ghosts. <laughs> I really love this little artwork. T-shirts. <clears throat> By the way, I should mention you. Yeah, you, you have to actually be facing an exhibit to view it. T-shirt no longer available. Shirt, color shirt, three sizes: small, medium, and large. Sweatshirt no longer available. So three sizes: small, medium, large. Why are you selling us? They're not available. Can you just tell them that us the origin of them or like something? Come on, sure, maybe they're no longer available, but that's kind of, that's fine. I just want to learn about them. PC board. <clears throat> so I guess this is like the the uh, arcade chip or whatever it's called. I certainly like it. Top dis top display. It was attached to the top of the cabinet. Oh, so maybe this is like oh, this is a Japanese arcade machines. Screen overlay, 1980. Glass glass sheet was pack with Pac-Man dream. Wow, Pac-Man sure had a big nose back then. <laughs> or excuse me, Pac-Man's not the one with the big nose. Puck-Man has the big nose. I don't understand why they need to change their names. Instruction card, 1980, attached to the arcade machine, show how to play. Didn't we already look at this? I guess we didn't. Oh wait, no. It's just the same artwork, so we didn't look at it. Ah, it shows how the fruits work. Uh, peach, apple, apple. I really love this museum. Instruction card 1982. Second version of the instruction card for Pac-Man. We Puck-Man. It's really cool.
Oh, here are the tips that I, here are the tips that I was I was thinking of. Tip one: Watch for Pinky. Blinky chases. Pinky ambushes. Inky scares easily. Clyde is very smart. Tip two: Use one-way paths near the go near, near the ghost box. Ghosts can only travel in one direction. Use them wisely. Tip three: pa Pac-Man can make sharper turns when ghosts are near him. Uh, Pac-Man will travel faster when there are no pellets in his path. Use these to your advantage. Some stuff I forgot to mention. Tip 4. Fruit will appear when Pac-Man gets a certain amount of pellets. Munch in these for bonus points. So what do we got? We got the cherry, strawberry, peach, apple, melon, galaxy emboss, bell, and key. Can't imagine eating those last three things will be help will be healthy, especially the galaxy emboss. Tip 5. Power pellets will allow Pac-Man to eat ghosts. You will travel also travel faster when the ghosts are blue. The ghosts also move slower. How to play. Oh, these are two individual objects? Okay, let's take a look at this then. How to play. Eat the dots and dodge the ghosts. When all the dots have been eaten, you will go to the next level. I probably should have read this before I read the tips. History of Pac-Man. Pac-Man was released in 1980 and it quickly became a worldwide hit. It had it had unique episodes, intermissions, and game developers had varying opinions on it. In the in one of the exhibits, Pac-Man is referred to Puck-Man, but that was the development title. I was oh I was right that is that so that was the beta or development title whatever. I personally would prefer Pac-Man over Puck-Man. And what's this? I'm actually really interested in this if it's gonna show like our actual pre-rendered video. Oh. Character slideshow. Uh Blinky Blinky one. Oh, okay, it's a different part. We got Blinky. Inky. Pinky. Clyde, Dark, Flash, <laughs> oh, hold on, I'm not fast enough, Eyes, Stitched, oh yes, from one of Cinematics, Torn, oh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Shut pack. Open pack. Dead. Wow. Dead in an, in a Namco game. That is worth showing. Cherry. Strawberry. Or. Oh, that's not a peach? It always looked like a, a peach to me. I guess it's an orange. Apple. Melon. Galaxian. Bell. Key. Blast. Never seen that in game. Now, up next, lastly, is my favorite part of the entire museum, the game room, Pac-Man. Uh, Flat Tetris, I'm calling it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love this concept. How, this is basically Pac-Man's house. Fortunately, I don't think you can go in his house, but... Whatever. And you see this right here? Yep, this is an arcade machine. So going here will allow you to play the game. So we're just, we're just gonna play it a second time, 
But I'm also, but before we do, I am going to hit triangle, and I'm going to show you, and I'm going to show you what what's up here. So the dip, so the dip switches. Depending on what these are set to, you will have a different amount of different gameplay styles. So you can modify the game with this, which I'm gonna do just so we can prolong playing. So we got lives three, three. Uh, up down gives you three. Down down gives you five. Down up gives you two, and up up gives you one. We're gonna have it down down, and points for extra for an extra life. We, up up is ten thousand. Up down down up is fifty thousand. Uh, down down is no extra, and up down is an, is twenty thousand. Got to keep it at ten thousand. Game screen. Uh, basically, uh, simulated arcade or arcade vertical. It's already a uh, simulated arcade. Um, let's see what arcade vertical looks like. Actually, hold on. Um, we'll keep it at simulated arcade and then we'll try out the other one. Uh, I should mention that, um, I'm not, correct me if I'm wrong in this, but I think this is actually how arcade machines work, where you turn the, ma the machine off and then open it up and then switch the switches to alter the coding. And then when you're ready, turn it back on. I thought that was really clever. Okay. Uh All right, just playing some Pac-Man. Being at the bottom is the worst, by the way, seriously. I should mention eating all four ghosts is not an- What? What is it with me and just missing the fruits? Eating all the ghosts is not impossible. Like, it's no- In fact, it's nowhere near impossible. It's just- It makes- just makes it take, take a little bit of precision. Let's- we'll say. Oh, I was trying to go for the fruit, but of course, Pete Pokey just had to. And yes, I'm not going to be calling them Pinky, Blinky, Ink, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde. It clearly states in the it said the title screen that that's just their nicknames, not their actual. I just phased through Bashful. Okay, that's something I want to bring up. Sometimes you'll phase right through the ghosts, and yeah, that's not natural, but. We're not complaining. Uh, okay. I should mention that, uh, I, uh, Pokey is the most dangerous out of them all because his behavior is completely random. Just never know what he's gonna do. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I'm probably wrong on that, but I just hope I'm not. There, we got them all. Trey, I should mention, gives you 100 points. Whoa! That was amazing! And we got 10,000 points, which gives us an extra life. See if we can get the strawberry. Come on, get the strawberry. There we go! Come on, you almost got it. There we go. Hold on. Okay, um...
Try to, by the way, try to conserve the uh, amount of power pellets you have, or they'll be gone before you know it. Uh, sometimes you might want to eat the power pellet not to eat the ghosts, but more like just to buy you some time. Because, you know, these ghosts are constantly patrolling everywhere, and just note, but like I said, just mo note that they can only move in one direction at a time, so... Uh... Yeah. Uh, we got another orange. The orange, I believe, gives you 500 points. Let's see how far we can get. Probably was a bad idea to eat that now, but I don't care. Five hundred. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I also like how the ghosts um, reverse direction when they're blue. Or, excuse me, when they're dark, because apparently the uh, character slideshow referred to them as dark. But we're out of power pellets now, so we we just gotta avoid. Evasive action. Although we're getting kind of lucky here. Uh, oh, I didn't just jinx that. Yep, I did. So we got apples now. Awesome. Whoa! That was cool. Okay. Those are not being. Wow, that was amazing. Let's wait for him, actually. <sighs> I died three times on this one level. Yeah, let's get the apple, just because. Gives you 700 points, that's cool. Okay. We got a. Uh, we had to, we lost. Probably could have made it to at least level seven if we were more careful. But oh well. Let's uh try out the uh, the arcade vertical now. Precaution for arcade vertical move. In the arcade, the arcade vert mode can be played setting horizontal monitor in the vert position. This could cause the monitor to fall or. Uh, or cause injury or monitor damage. Be careful. Wait, what? Oh wait, I think I, I think I know what this means. Let's, let's uh, let's hit hit X. See what? Oh yeah, this is what it does. It basically turns the screen around. Basically, it turns the screen to the side, which I actually kind of like. You know what? I'm gonna tilt my head to the side, and you tilt your head to the side, too. Let's play. This looks really weird, in my opinion, but it actually really looks like an arcade now. I, I never understand why you saw Ms. Pac-Man in, like, every arcade, and yet you almost never saw Pac-Man.
I probably could have gotten Pokey there, but I don't care. So our high score before was 24,550. Let's see if we can beat that. This seriously looks really- Oh jeez, I tilted my head, I should not be doing that. Probably could have gotten a couple ghosts if I didn't tilt, but oh. Oh, come on. Wait, come on. No, 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 we can get him, we can get him, we can get him, come on, we can get him, we can get him. No, we can't. I have to admit the screen really does not transition well on the PlayStation. <laughs> Still looks good though. Why would did not hit up in, in time? following the ghosts through the warp tunnel. You want to you want them to follow you through the warp tunnel. All right. Oh, yeah, I don't think we're going to get all... Wow, that was amazing. We had s we had the opportunity to get all four of them, yet we didn't. Kind of reminds me of Pac-Man 256 in a way. What? Let's get past level 5 this time. Oh jeez, being at the bomb, like I said, is the worst. Oh, they turned around. They do spontaneously turn around, like, usually after they've just recovered from being blue. So, yeah. Okay, come on, we got four, or five more right over there. Yes, we made it to level six. 
This is what I was talking about, this torn thing. Whoa. Look, where the control freaked out for a second. Ghosts seem to be blue longer. Uh, go through. No. I think I know why you're able to phase through the ghosts sometimes. It's because you might notice that Pac-Man, uh, dies. Like, when he freezes, you're sometimes you're on top of the ghost. Sometimes you're inside it. Yeah, Sometimes you just don't go in fast enough for... But in any case, we are gonna continue. We're almost done, guys. Come on, we can do this, we can do this, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Because I'm clone Lux, then then the nine! Wow, we could have done it. Now that we did that, um... Let's, uh... Change the screen back to normal. Also, let... Also, let's uh, see, we'll check out test mode. Goes to test mode. But, no. Memory okay, one coin, one credit, bonus 10,000, Pac Man 5, upright. Okay. Wow, arcade machines are really intriguing me. I kind of, somehow I kind of want to work for Namco. I mean, I've wanted to work for video game companies um, for a long time, but now I kind of really, really want to work for, like, Namco. I know, like, the, okay, by the way, now that we have a save file, our high scores will save, but honestly, I know that the Capcom headquarters, uh, the U the uh, USA Capcom headquarters in Nolka in California, but where I wonder where Namco is is located. I want to I want to work for them. But in any case, guys, I think now will be a good stopping point. So next time on Namco Museum Volume One, we are going to head to the pole position exhibit. So, I'll see you guys next time. As always, remember to smile. You were the face of Clone Clock's end of the 9 gaming. Goodbye.